Watch you guys, gonna another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be looking at how we can dual boot Windows 10 with Windows 7. Now we've got Windows 7 installed here, and what we're gonna do is install Windows 10 alongside it. So when we boot up, we'll have a choice to boot to Windows 10 or Windows 7. And now I've got mine set up a slightly different. This is one hard drive, but if you've got two separate hard drives, you can still install Windows 10 and Windows 7. So the way I've got mine set up is two solid state drives, and I boot. Windows 7 on one, Windows 10 on the other. But this way we're going to have one hard drive and then just partition the drive into two partitions. So we'll have Windows 7 and Windows 10. They both work equally the same, uh, but one's slightly different because obviously you've got a separate drive. Anyway, let's have a look at how we can set this up. So first off, we're going to have a look at our drive. You can see most people normally have just one partition here. And uh, to make this work, we're going to need to split this drive and this has Windows 7 on it, so we need to split this drive into two partitions. So the way to do that is pretty straightforward. We're going to hit the Start button, uh, right-click on Computer, and hit Manage. And this will give us uh, the Computer Management. Hit um, Disk Management here, and you'll see the big C drive here. We're going to right-click on this, and we're going to shrink this volume. And what that's going to allow us to do is make a... A partition out of it. Now this will take a bit of time to come up. Once it's come up uh, you can choose how much space you want. Windows 10 needs about 16-ish gigs to run. Uh, you can leave it minimum, I would say 20 gigs minimum, uh, but you won't have much space on there to put your program. So remember to give yourself plenty of space. I'm just going to let this go by half. So it would be 50 and 50 roughly. And you can see now it's, al it's got unallocated space here. So now we need to right click on this and cre uh, create a new simple volume. You can give it a drive letter that you want here. I'm just going to leave it standard default and then click on the label here and make it Windows 10. So I know what par partitions what and then we're going to quickly format this partition and we're pretty much ready to go. So that's now done. So let's take a look at the actual drive now. So we've got Windows 7 on here and this is going to be where our Windows 10 is. So what we need to do now is you need to download a copy of Windows 10. It's free to download and you'll get an ISO file and then you can create your bootable USB flash drive or DVD. Once you've got that done, you'll be able to boot to that. Now I've already done that part, um, but if you need to know how to do that, I've, I've covered them videos before, showing you how to create a bootable USB flash drive or DVD. And uh, what we're gonna do is boot to this uh, USB flash drive now. So let's reboot our system. Okay, so now we're into our BIOS. You have to tap F2 or delete key, normally on reboot, and this will let you get into your BIOS. You can change the boot order here by coming up to where it says boot. Now this is an older type style BIOS. Uh, you may have the, the UEFI BIOS, which is like the graphic user interface type BIOS, where you can move around. As They work the same way in the sense that you just go to boot and change the boot order for whatever device you want to boot to. In this case we want to do CD-ROM drive. Uh, yours might be a USB flash drive that you're using. Once you've selected this you can use your shift and plus key to move these up and down. It gives you all the information here on the side. Once you've got this set you can push F10 and click yes and now, now we're going to boot to that device i.e. either USB or CD-ROM. This will start to load up you can see here it's now given me the option to change my language. I'm going to leave this as United Kingdom. Go next and we need to click on install now. Now we need to put in our product key here. Now if you've got your Windows 10 product key you can put it in here. I'm going to skip this part by clicking I don't have a product key. I'm going to install Windows 10 Pro. Go next
OK, we need to accept the license terms. Go next. And now we've got the option to upgrade or custom install. We want to click on the custom install for Windows only advanced. Click on this and you should see two partitions. One with Windows 7, which is partition 1, and partition 2, which is our Windows 10 partition. This is why I named it so we could see it clearly, so you can't make a mistake. And uh, we're going to click on the Windows 10 partition and click Next. And let this install. This will take a bit of time. So I'll come back when this is uh, finished here. Going to restart now. Just don't touch the keyboard, just let it carry on booting. So here you can see now we have a choice to choose, and we're going to choose Windows 10. Okay, we want to choose Windows 10 again. You can see it's given us 30 seconds here to choose, but I'm going to be uh, selecting Windows 10 to continue the installation. Okay, so you can either use Express Settings and deal with the uh, spyware thing at the end of it if you want, or you can hit Customize and go through all this yourself. It's entirely up to you which way you go about doing it. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and disable some of these here. Uh, smart screen's okay. And just let that install. Okay, so we're just going to click on I own it and uh, go next. And your next one. Now you can create your account here. I'm going to skip this step here. And now you can put in your username and your password. And there we are at the desktop of Windows 10. That's all installed nicely. Just going to search for display drivers. So this reboot our system and remove our CD or a USB flash drive and see what our menu looks like. So we're just going to reboot our system here. And now we have our option. So we're going to choose Windows 7. And there you go, we're booting up to Windows 7. So that's basically how you can dual boot Windows 10 with Windows 7. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. And I uh, hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or anything like that, or just let me know what videos you want to see, and leave that in the comment section below, or you can post on my forum or on my Facebook fan page, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. If you've got any problems with your computers, you can always head over to the forums or anything like that, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.